ഓണറബിൾ പ്രസിഡൻ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ ശ്രീമതി ദ്രൗപതി മുർഗു വെരി ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് ടു യു ഓൾ ഐ എം ഡോക്ടർ ശിവബാല ഐ എം ദ കോസ് ഡയറക്ടർ ഫോർ ദ ഇന്ത്യൻ ഫോറസ്റ്റ് സർവീസ് ബാച്ച് ഓഫ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി ഫോർത്ത് ആർ ആർ വി ഹാവ് വിത്ത് എസ് ദ ഇന്ത്യൻ ഫോറസ്റ്റ് സർവീസ് പ്രൊബേഷണേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ട്വൻറ്റി ട്വൻറ്റി ടു ബാച്ച് ആൻഡ് ദ ഇന്ത്യൻ ഡിഫൻസ് എസ്റ്റേറ്റ് സർവീസ് ഓഫീസേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ട്വൻറ്റി എയ്റ്റീൻ ബാച്ച് ആൻഡ് ഇന്ത്യൻ ഡിഫൻസ് എസ്റ്റേറ്റ് സർവീസ് ഓഫീസർ ട്രെയിനീസ് ഓഫ് ഓഫ് ട്വൻറ്റി ട്വൻറ്റി ടു ബാച്ച് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് മൈ പ്രൗഡ് പ്രിവിലേജ് ആൻഡ് ഹോണർ ടു ബി ഹിയർ വിത്ത് യു ഓൾ വിത്ത് യുവർ ഹോണറബിൾ പ്രസിഡൻ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ ടുഡേ and to start with today's proceedings i would now invite streamer leena nandan secretary to government of india ministry of environment forest and climate change for the welcome speech madam please honorable president of india my colleagues from the ministry of defense ministry of environment forest and climate change indira gandhi national forest academy officials of president secretariat and young probationers of the indian forest service and indian defense estate service first and foremost i would like to express my sincere gratitude to the honorable president of india who has very kindly consented to meet the probationers of the indian forest service and indian defense estate service today it is indeed a proud moment and a great privilege for the future nation builders to get benefited from the words of wisdom of the honorable president at the beginning of their long career in civil services today's opportunity to listen to the head of state will be truly inspirational in preparing these young karmyogis to achieve the vision of building an inclusive and atmanirbhar bharat honorable president madam this 2022 batch of indian forest service consists of 102 probationers including two foreign trainees from royal government of bhutan these probationers from all across the country have diverse ac- academic backgrounds including engineering agriculture forestry fisheries veterinary and life science having joined the service in august 2022 they are presently undergoing their professional training at the indira gandhi national forest academy in dehradun this would continue till april 2024 after which they would join their respective cadres honorable madam president the professional training is a mix of theoretical and practical inputs attachments with various institutions of excellence besides field tours and exercises in various parts of the country the exposure tours provide them an opportunity to see the best practices in forestry and get a feel of the diversity and culture of the country the objective is to is to equip these young probationers with necessary skills and aptitude along with imbibing a professional approach there is emphasis on being sensitive to the needs of local communities and to work with local institutions the probationers also get exposure to various aspects of governance and administration through the parliamentary appreciation course and by participating in rural appraisal processes honorable madam president two batches of the indian defense estate service are also present today with us the the indian defense estate service is an organized central civil service with a mandate to manage all facets of defense land at measuring approximately 18 lakh acres located across the country and to discharge duties connected with the municipal administration of 61 cantonments in the country the organization has recently taken a big leap towards optimum utilization of defense land and real time updation and use of land records by adopting latest technology at the national institute of defense estates management the officer trainees are imparted training which would enable them to gain domain knowledge and further nurture and develop various functional and behavioral competencies essential for effective cantonment administration and land management may i conclude honorable madam president by expressing our deep gratitude to you once again jai hind and thank you so much now taking the proceeding further now i would request ms neetu george topan i have a special of 22 batch to share her training experience with the honorable president of india honorable president of india shrimati draupadi murmu i neetu george topan seek your permission to present our experience as probationers of the indian forest service 2022 batch i would like to begin by expressing my profound and heartfelt gratitude to the honorable president for giving us time out of her busy schedule to address guide and inspire us today it is a matter of great pride and privilege for all the young probationers here 
to meet the president of the greatest democracy on earth. It has been 10 months since we joined the training. The common foundation course at Lal Bahadur Shastri National Academy of Administration brought probationers from different services together, fostering camaraderie and collaboration. Besides academic learning, village visits, RM 4.0 at Kevadia, and the Himalayan trek instilled compassion and character, rightly expressed by the Sanskrit slogan, Shilam Param Bhushanam. The commitments made in the time capsules inaugurated by Madam President will continue to inspire us in our work to build a new India. In the professional training at the Indira Gandhi National Forest Academy, Dehradun, we have been taught various subjects like wildlife management, remote sensing, and environmental law. The training also emphasizes on sports and fitness, essential life skills like swimming and adventure activities in line with the Fit India campaign for our physical and mental well-being. At the Indian Military Academy, we received training in weaponry and horse riding. During our tour to Chandrapur and Allapalli in Maharashtra, we engaged with various stakeholders fostering empathy for marginalized communities. In the Tadoba Andhari Tiger Reserve, witnessing majestic tigers in their natural habitat reinforced our dedication to conservation efforts. During the captivating hill tour to the Himalayas, we explored the beauty of India's hill states. Home states at Saspochi village in Ladakh immersed us in local culture amid breathtaking landscapes. Interacting with army officials at Pangongso offered insights into their sacrifices for national security. Sporting the elusive snow leopard in Leh was an unforgettable and once in a lifetime experience for us. Integral to our training is the Lifestyle for Environment Life Mission Activity launched by the Honorable Prime Minister, which emphasized environmental stewardship. Through cleanup drives during our tours, we ensure the places we visit remain pristine and free from pollution. We also undertook a crucial cleanup drive on the banks of River Ganga, emphasizing the need to preserve India's water resources. Madam President, we, the probationers, wholeheartedly embrace Gandhiji's talisman, committing to work for the poorest of the poor, who in fact happen to be our brethren from the forests. The motto of the Indian Forest Service, Aranyate Prithvi Sionamastu, signifies the forest as Earth's delight. The task before us is formidable, but we shall put in our best efforts to conserve our forests and wildlife, as well as to work for the socio-economic development of forest-dependent people. In your august presence and in this sacred face of Amrit Kal, we once again dedicate and commit ourselves to work for the ecological, economic, and ethical development of our country, our Matri Bhumi. Thank you. Jai Hind. Now, I request Sri Muhammad Saki Balam, Indian Defense State Service Officer Trainee, to share his experience. Mananiya Rashpati Mahodaya, Vishish Atiti Gana, or Mere Sati Prashikshu Adhikari. मैं भारतीय रक्षा संपदा सेवा से मोहम्मद साकिब आलम माननीय राष्ट्रपति के प्रति हार्दिक आभार व्यक्त करना चाहता हूं जिन्होंने अपने व्यस्त कार्यक्रम से समय निकालकर हमें संबोधित करने मार्गदर्शन देने एवं प्रेरित करने का कष्ट किया आईडीएस के अधिकारियों के सामूहिक अनुभव को साझा करने का अवसर मिलना मेरे लिए गर्व और सौभाग्य की बात है महोदय हमारा बैच भारत के परिवेश का एक आदर्श प्रतिबिंब है हम छोटे और बड़े अलग-अलग जगहों से हैं और डॉक्टर इंजीनियर वकील और अर्थशास्त्री जैसे अलग-अलग पेशे से हैं हमारा प्रशिक्षण पाठ्यक्रम क्लासरूम लेक्चर्स और फील्ड अटैचमेंट्स का एक समुचित मिश्रण था जो हमें राष्ट्रीय विकास के लक्ष्यों को प्राप्त करने के लिए आवश्यक ज्ञान और अनुभव से लैस कराता है एक प्रशिक्षु अधिकारी के रूप में हमने लाल बहादुर शास्त्री राष्ट्रीय प्रशासन अकादमी मसूरी में फाउंडेशन कोर्स से अपनी यात्रा शुरू की जिसमें न केवल एकेडमिक बल्कि एक्स्ट्रा को करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज पर भी जोर दिया गया वहां हम आजीवन दोस्ती तथा एस्पिरेट डी कॉप्स की भावना को अपने अंदर विकसित करने में सक्षम हुए इसके बाद हमने राष्ट्रीय रक्षा संपदा प्रबंधन संस्थान निडम में अपनी इंडक्शन ट्रेनिंग शुरू की जहां हमें छावनी परिषदों के प्रशासन और रक्षा भूमि के प्रभावी प्रबंधन के लिए आवश्यक कानून नियमों और विनियमों से परिचित कराया गया इसके अलावा हमें विभिन्न फील्ड अटैचमेंट्स पर भेजा गया जिसमें छावनियों के प्रशासन का अनुभव करने के लिए कैंटोनमेंट बोर्ड अटैचमेंट तथा रक्षा भूमि के प्रबंधन एवं अधिग्रहण में शामिल जटिलताओं को समझने के लिए रक्षा संपदा कार्यालय के अटैचमेंट शामिल थे अपने इंडक्शन ट्रेनिंग के दौरान 
हमें अपनी सेवा के वर्तमान एवं रिटायर्ड वरिष्ठ अधिकारियों के साथ इंटरेक्ट करने का मौका मिला और उन्होंने काफ़ी गहनता से अपने उन अनुभवों को साझा किया जो हमें अपने कामकाज में काफ़ी मदद प्रदान करेंगे ट्रेनिंग के दौरान हमें आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एवं आधुनिक तकनीक का उपयोग कर बेहतर भूमि प्रबंधन को समझने का मौका मिला जिसका उपयोग हमारे आगामी जीवन की कार्य प्रणाली में एक महत्वपूर्ण भूमिका अदा करेंगे निडम ने हमें विभिन्न प्रमुख प्रशिक्षण संस्थानों जैसे कि आई इंडियन लॉ इंस्टीट्यूट और ए में भी अल्पकाल हेतु प्रशिक्षित कराया जहाँ हमने प्रशासन एवं आवश्यक कानूनी ज्ञान के विभिन्न आयामों को सीखा हम सौभाग्यशाली थे कि हमें जैसलमेर में आर्मी अटैचमेंट के दौरान भारतीय सेना एवं सशस्त्र बलों की कार्य प्रणाली एवं उनके अदम्य साहस को करीब से देखने का मौका मिला हमारी प्रशिक्षण यात्रा का एक बड़ा आकर्षण पार्लियामेंट अटैचमेंट था जहां हमने अपने संपन्न लोकतंत्र को उसकी उज्जवल महिमा में काम करते हुए देखा महोदय किसी राष्ट्र में लोक प्रशासन इतना प्रभावी होना चाहिए कि लोग प्रशासन को दक्षता का आदर्श मापदंड मानने लगें प्रशिक्षु अधिकारियों के एक विविध समूह को कर्मयोगियों में बदलने के लिए मैं निडम का आभारी हूं। हम अपने महान देश के कर्तव्य काल में प्रवेश कर चुके हैं मेरा दृढ़ विश्वास है कि हमारी इंडक्शन ट्रेनिंग ने हमें इस कर्तव्य काल में अपनी जिम्मेदारियों को पूरा करने के लिए अच्छे से तैयार कर दिया है मैं गुरु रविन्द्रनाथ टैगोर के शब्दों को उद्धृत करते हुए अपनी बात समाप्त करना चाहूँगा मैं सोया और स्वप्न देखा कि जीवन आनंद है मैं जागा और देखा कि जीवन सेवा है मैंने चेष्टा की और देखा सेवा आनंद थी धन्यवाद जय हिंद धन्यवाद श्री मोहम्मद साकेब आलम जी नाउ द मच अवेटेड मोमेंट एस आर आई आई वुड नाउ रिक्वेस्ट ऑनरेबल प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू एड्रेस बोथ द सर्विस ऑफिसर ट्रेनिस मैडम प्लीज एट द आउटसेट I congratulate all of you for successfully clearing the competitive examinations and getting selected in the prestigious services. My special congratulations to the officer trainees from Bhutan. Your success in this tough examination is a testimony to your caliber, your perseverance and determination. It was nice to listen to your rich training experiences i am happy to know that about the learning that you had through various interactions and exposure that you got during your attachment and visits i am sure that during this period you have made great friends who will stand by you throughout your life dear young officers I am told that your groups comprise officers from diverse backgrounds. Young officers from diverse backgrounds work together as part of one service for achieving shared goals of the country. You all truly represent the promote Indian's unity in diversity. I can see a few women officers in this gathering of young civil servants i wish to meet more women officers in both these services in times to come i am sure that women will contribute significantly and bring forth a different perspective both as forest officials and defense estate management your journeys as civil servants has begun at a time when india is acquiring a leadership role at global level india attracts global attention for its cultural prosperity as well as its technological advancement india has shown to the world that technology and traditions can go hand in hand dear officer trainees of indian defense estate service i had shared with another group of young your service that director general of defense state is the largest land holding agency under the government of india the containment board have always been known for organized and planned land use best leave civil amenities and clean environment 
with the advent of technology it is your responsibility that you set higher benchmarks in ensuring high quality services to resident it is also your duty to ensure that the services and facilities that you provide are eco friendly and sustainable dear young officers we all know that technology is a great enabler for good governance and therefore you must keep updating your technical skills along with domain expertise technology should be utilized to the maximum possible extent for effective administration of the containment and management of defense lands i am told that directorate general of defense state has developed an artificial intelligence based software which can automatically detect ground activities such as unauthorized constructions i am happy to know that each ichawani portal has also been launched to improve citizen interaction with containment boards dear probationaries of indian forest service you have been selected as protectors of country's forest wealth during amrit kal the era of the country's transformative development as forest officers you will play an important role in realizing the country's dreams of all round and inclusive development by working diligently and contributing your best as i have shared with another batch of your service earlier forests add to our natural wealth and geographical diversity india's climate and topography is closely connected to its forest distribution forest and the wildlife that they support are invaluable resources and heritage of our country they are also a source of livelihood for many communities dear officers that trees of environmental degradation depletion of forest cover global warming and climate change are at the center stage in global discourse and partnerships that is why environment conservation has become a key corner of the 21st century the forest are an integral part of the solution and you are among the solution providers it is time to understand the huge responsibility entrusted upon you and perform to the best of your ability india has given the mantra of life lifestyle for environment to the world you all age young officers of the indian forest service are expected to put in untiring efforts for the practical implementation of this mantra i once again congratulate all the officers and trainees present here i extend my good wishes to all of you for a successful career ahead i also extend my best wishes to the officer trainees from bhutan for your bright future thank you jai hind jai bharat